Portuguese youngster today, contract to the Leeds United right now, uh, has not made really an appearance for them. Where is he going to be in 10 years? Diego Montero is contracted to Leeds United. He's a center back with a DM possibility, 17 years old, Portuguese, as I said, no caps whatsoever, except he is capped at the under 20, under 17 level, only 5k per week until 26 and 2.9 to 8.8 .8 million. He is a future prospect. So will he stay at Leeds? We don't know, uh, but his numbers look average at best right now. He is not a wonder kid. He's, I mean, depending on what you consider a wonder kid, his potential number is only 133. So still good enough for many teams, uh, definitely throughout Europe. However, not going to get to the likes of Messi, not going to get to uh, some of the other wonder kids, Kevin De Bruyne, that we've seen in the past. And you'll see, we've already seen in some of these player profiles, but definitely could still reach some pretty nice potential. He doesn't have much to his name right now. No biography. His only career milestone is being uh, promoted in the under 21s in Portugal. Again, numbers are okay. Injury wise, anything, nothing. So we've got nothing on the boy. Let's just skip to 10 years ahead and see what we can see. At 28 years old, he is now Swiss. So he has changed sides from Portugal to Swiss. Uh, he is now contracted in the MLS to Columbus crew, three and a half to 10 and a half million, 24.5 K per week until 36. He's an important player. His numbers have increased a bit. Uh, what were, you know, 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s are now 11s, 13s, and 14s. Some mental numbers, which are nice, uh, still 12s. I mean, for MLS, it's pretty good. But uh, acceleration of 13, pace of 13, heading of 13, marking of 13, passing of 14, tacticaling of 13. Uh, again, 28 years old, MLS, not too bad numbers, but not for a lot of European teams, at least not in the upper echelon of Europe. Uh, some of the lower leagues, Definitely. But as you can see, if we go to the career stats, he has bounced around a bit. So from Servette to Leeds at 900K, he was loaned out to Preston for 25 and a half. Then Grenoble foot 38 in France, Vitesse on loan back to Leeds. He actually got a couple of starts there, uh, then loaned out to Hibernian in Scotland, Leeds back and then sold off to Huddersfield for 1.1 million, stayed there for a few years and then 7.75 move to the U.S. Overall, his average ratings are good. They're not fantastic. Uh, they're not a whole lot to write home about when you're looking for really massively potential wonder kids. But overall, not too bad. Uh, he does have some milestones, I guess. So named in Preston, seasonal best 11, Vitesse, Grenoble, Foot 38. I love these names. Uh, but cup winners, reserve league champions, relegation from the... English under-21s Premier League won with Leeds, uh, then bought by Huddersfield, named in Huddersfield season best 11, instructed into Huddersfield overall best 11, uh, and then, you know, still same as always. First international cap against Malta at age 26, bought by Columbus Crew, named in their best 11, so still, overall, there you go. He does have some injuries. Most are slight. You've got a couple majors, 27, two of them, three months and four weeks, Torn calf muscle and fractured lower arm. And then the last one in 2033, broken lower leg out for three weeks, which is his current injury. But everything else is slight, two moderates, not awful. The three majors are awful, but everything else, not so much. And then if we quickly look at his bio, I, the single winner's medal that Montero has won during his career is the international group one Servette under 21s. Uh, he joined Hutterville Town for 875K, made 178 appearances and scored one goal. Uh, joined then current Columbus Crew, has currently 37 appearances for the club. So he doesn't really, I mean, no one really knows him a lot. Uh, soccer, he may be known, well known to soccer fans across Europe and North America. However, that's only probably because of the teams he's played for, the amount of teams, not the teams themselves. Leeds, yes. Huddersfield, nah, I don't know. Uh, Grenoble foot 38, probably not and Hibernian. So, uh, he doesn't have a massive profile, but only four caps. So he's gotten a couple caps. It's not too bad. Uh, but overall he's not bad. Um, he definitely could slot into some, like I said, MLS teams. Uh, I don't know what the standard MLS average is on a lot of these players, uh, but like the a defender, how what are their numbers? I want to say it's going to be between 11 and 14 is kind of the standard numbers. Uh, but I don't know. I haven't looked at MLS very much this season, only last season. So, you know, but he looks okay for right now.
He did play one international appearance uh, for as DM, and everything else has been DC. No other international appearances for him whatsoever. So, so I will say one of the issues that the way I do these saves is I do it to June to June, basically thereabouts. Uh, MLS, that's halfway through the season. So as you can see, he is still in 2039, contracted to the Columbus crew. His uh, contract expires this year, at the end of this year, the very last day of this year. Uh, he is 34 years old, still only on six caps, so it's not grown at all there. But I've taken a look at 2040. He is not in the database anymore, so this is his last season. Uh, his plans, even though it doesn't say probably... Nope, it doesn't plan for the future, but we know that this is his last season. Uh, but as you can see, his biography has grown. His career milestones have grown. A lot of seasonal best 11s for all. Columbus Crew mainly. 209 appearances, 6 goals. Uh, is not a bad tally in the MLS whatsoever. He has definitely shown himself to be a big-time center back in the MLS and one with longevity, which is fantastic to see. Injury-wise, he has picked it up. He got another major in 2039 for a calf strain after four weeks. Uh, you still have the two majors here. Um, some more moderates, a couple of minors here and there. So I guess as age has hit him, he has definitely gone a little bit more intense in the injuries. But that major one in 2039 is probably his undoing, uh, or at least the you know one of the many straws that broke the camel's back. But overall, 6'9", 6'8", 7'0". He has not done too badly whatsoever in the MLS. So at age of 34, he's, I mean, he's had a good career. Again, he's not a Messi or De Bruyne or Ronaldo or someone like that. However, I think he's had a pretty good run of it. He's enjoyed his soccer uh, and he's finishing out 40 and a half K per week until 2039 throughout the season rated at 250 to 750 K. So definitely going down there. His numbers are definitely on the downward spiral, uh, spiral me mentally, not too bad, but overall, it's probably time for him to retire. But anyway, that is the full career of Diego Montero. Uh, I am Safi FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.